All right, guys. It's Friday, October 26th. Salute. Wrong. At 7 11 a.m. And we are getting ready to leave for the Mount Sac Invitational, one of the biggest high school invitationals in the entire nation. Feeling good? Feeling ready to get this bread. Gotta love all the smoke that's been going on. Honestly, kind of surprised the media isn't even canceled like it was with Santa Clarita. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test. Later. So, uh, what was it like hearing this sense for about half a mile? No. Never again. I don't know who's carrying it back, but it's not going to be me. Nice. James, you ready to run up that hill over there? So the plan of attack for this is um, run a four flat mile. For I love this death. <laughs> I know. I love this death there and death there. <laughs> Okay, hey, you ready for this? It's gonna be tough, but hopefully sub 17. All right, cool. Probably not, but Wait, yeah. where are we supposed to be going? Let's go, Jason! Let's go, Jason! Come on, Jason! Come on, Jason! Come on, Jason. Come on, Jason. Hey, you got this. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Jason! Let's go, Jason! Mistake with someone else! Alright, getting ready to walk the course. Because I haven't been here in three years and everyone else hasn't been here at all. So I'm trying to break 22. So you just saw how tough the course is and now you, you just want to break 22? Actually, maybe 24. Okay. Yeah. You'll finish before they have to kick you off the course, right? Uh, I, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. No, but actually, like, maybe sub-16. Sub All right, cool. Yeah, cool. Uh, so try and mentally prepare ourselves for this first mile. Because, I, as you can see, this first mile is very tough. Oh, I see. Oh. Uh, look at this sexy poop out hill. Yes, this hill is very sexy. No, I don't think so. I think so.
Yo guys, we just finished up and you wanna know what? We got freaking second! Let's go! Look at all these amazing lads. This is the second place team in Division 3 varsity here at the Mount Sack Invitational. Okay, so how? what do you wish to report about your race? All right, well, we got second, obviously, as you saw, right, right? And uh, I got like 17, 15, 17, 14, whatever. Obviously not my goal, but that was my dream goal. And like, you know, we did like amazing. We did amazing. All right, thank you. Uh, what do you have to say being our number one man today? Wow. I kind of died. I'm not going to lie. Um, my time is pretty good, 16.32 or something. But we got second place, all nice. Nice. Get that torch. Heck yeah, let's go, Tyree. Now we're done. Yeah. Give it a nice little big oh, hand of applause for Wait. Mr. Jason Lozano. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, yeah. Jason, by the way, was literally five seconds off of speed and he got off the car. Who needs a warm up? And <laughs> didn't warm up, didn't mentally prep because I told him he wasn't racing and still oh, competed God. and came out and like had a great race. And trainers, by the way. Hey. 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 Trainers, the ultimate flex. <laughs> Long walk back to the parking lot. This is not fun. Nothing. <sighs> Finally home. At like freaking 3.22 p.m. I've been out of the house for like freaking... Eight hours with the flying frick, fracking fricker fracker. All right, this man is coming into the home stretch of his easy run. Bro, look at this dude doing an easy run. An easy run. An easy run. This is Jesse Kessling's easy run pace. After being injured, he's coming back from injury and he's gonna break 15 minutes. He's gonna break 15 minutes at Piers. Watch because this is easy pace. Hey, what's up, guys? Tori's here. Guess what? So, it's Wednesday, October 30th, day before Halloween, two days before the Apache Invitational, and practice got canceled because apparently the air quality is bad and it's a little too windy. Like, I don't know what they're talking about, but I don't want to get in trouble, so that's why you see me here running on the beautiful treadmill. So, yeah. See you guys at the Apache Invitational. Bro, he's gonna snap it. <laughs> no, we're not. Come on, let's do it. You weak, Jesse? Come on. Yes. Come 
Oh, Look at this man. Look at this man. Coming, coming out of nowhere. What is this man doing? What? Visiting. He says right. visitor. He looks like he's 30, oh. dude. No, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> Don't say it like that. Yeah, you look like you're coming to be a, like a TA or something. Stop. No, no paparazzi. No paparazzi. Project. Oh yeah, you have Chaos a punchy, right? You guys have a punchy? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello there. What's up? Yeah, this is for Kate This is for No, no, you're right. This is for Kate Calf. Is it actually? No. Calf Project. Yeah. I forgot the name of it for a second. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't cry. That's okay. Hey, this man's uh, back. <laughs> Give me that camera. How are you? Are you? Uh, it's kind of awkward staring into a camera that's an iPad. Exactly, yeah, yeah. How do you feel? Alright, so this is part two of the cast project again. I'm taking over. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Apache invite. Today, do not, do not film and run, okay? We'll start the race off by using the restroom. Follow me. Alright, we're getting ready to leave for this invitational. And look at this beautiful shed we call home. And look at all these trophies. Pretty nice, huh? It's been a while. Oh, would it's you look a, at that? It's been a while. 2002 city champions. I'll be on one of those trophies. Coach again. Luis Hernandez, even from before Amanda. But the but, but the point is that we used to be good. We used to be, and now we are good. Once again. We used to be good, and now we're becoming good again. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Look at this man holding us back. So the plan for this meet, we're gonna run 15 flat. Yeah. All right, now we are about to leave. We are about to exit the school. Is this a stick up or are you just happy? Who's this? Look at this man. Look at him, look at him. Yeah, he locked me out. Okay guys, we have arrived, at last. We got uh, this team over here, doing some uh, interesting stuff. Take a look at this. Snacks for Cuban athletes. I don't know about you, but I don't see any athletes around here. Yeah, we're off that way. We'll see how these turn. Alright guys, found the starting line. So this is filming for Cast Project. Episode, I'm gonna guess, episode 7. I lost track of this Hello, point. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to Apache 2019. We're about to get sub 15. We're about to uh, beat Granada. Uh, we love you, but oh, I'm about to run. Race to start. Oh, race is starting. That, is that the goal? Oh, my. The, the, the gun that, is like a. This is like club. The gun is like. The gun is a wrap. Wow, I got a big old hole in myself. How else are you gonna put them on? Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Funny guy. Yeah. Anyways, funny guy. we funny guy. are. <laughs> Here to run fast. I ex like I was saying in the car. I expect Jason and James to run closer to under like under five, fifteen twenty, fifteen thirty. I expect uh, Torres to be close to the fifteen forties, under sixteen for sure. I expect Adrian to be, if not breaking sixteen, in the sixteen tens, sixteen twenties at the absolute slowest. I expect the following group to is I expect them under. Hopefully. Hopefully under 17, 20, breaking 17. I expect Lozano to be chasing Lorenzo with his dear life. I expect Speed and Anthony to be close behind, breaking 17, 30. For show. Dude, you guys are in the best shapes of your guys' life right now. It's a nice flat course, and hopefully the weather gets a little bit cooler by the time you guys race in about an hour. Hopefully it's another four or five degrees lower. You guys are in the varsity race. Granada Hills is in that race. El Camino is in that race. What does that mean? This is literally a league finals preview. Taft, they know that they can't beat us. Birmingham, I mean, they want to beat us. I don't think they can. That's where the, I don't even think they have five runners. 
Aside from that, let's run fast. I'm gonna go and see where the girls are at. Make sure you guys start warming up around 4.30 to about 4.35 the latest, okay? Break? Yeah. Break. Break. Good talk, good Break. talk. Yeah. All right, guys, we just finished our warm-up in calisthenics, and we're going to head to the starting line pretty soon, and hopefully we'll have a good race. I'll get back to you then. Let's go, Granada! Let's go! Let's go! What was that? Like, say it again, say know. it again in front of the camera. It was kind of weird. I am a marathon runner. I must hurry. Is that an iPhone? I hope so. Well, go just yeah. right to end there. Go ahead, just right. Of course, let's ah! fish in right here. Take done, done. Put the sun. Guess what guys, we came out here and we ran freaking fast as I, I finally broke 16 minutes. Finally freaking sub 16. This, this freaking dude PR by like 2 minutes. This dude PR by like 30 or 40 seconds, I think. And then this dude freaking shatters 18 minutes for the first time. This dude low 16. This dude almost sub 16. And then this dude finally sub 18. Sub 18, there we go. Yeah, All right, listen up real quick. Um, overall, we had a killer race, killer, killer race. I'm gonna assume 75% of them PR. We're gonna start off from the back, Mr. Ivan with an incredible race. Let's go, let's go clap. We had a little bit of struggles with Anthony, I still haven't talked to you guys, Lasano, a little bit of a cramp or something. Uh, then we had a nice little four second PR from Mr. Speed. So we gotta we gotta go figure it out. I still don't even know your time. I was in 1728. Our fourth place, we got Mr. Adrian cracking the top 40 at 39. Uh, and a fat fat PR. We just had a little a little fast start where you guys decided to go take out Great Oak. I know you guys were excited. Uh, but it's okay, our third man. Uh, you guys hit a brick wall, but it, I think it's a great learning experience to do it here and not do that at City Finals. So overall, I'm super proud of still. And our third man, Jason. And with an incredible race, with the first race of his entire life, breaking 16. Oh, oh, oh. Our captain, our one and only Torres. Yeah. And then with the hip problem, leading the pack, thinking he's going to take out all of Great Oak by himself. By himself, put the whole team on his back. 16 players, Jason. Yeah. Yeah. Also, as a team, we finished fifth. Overall, that is an incredible place. We are a small school in the middle of Reseda, California with a dirt track. I am sure that 80% of the schools here all have rubber tracks. They also don't get canceled practice for no reason. You know, overall, we are putting up a fight against, you know, good schools. still believe James and Mr. Jason, you guys have a good shot at, you know, at state, you know. Individual spots are still there. Obviously, the Savala kid and the Kai kid from uh, Granada and Elko, they're, you know, they're right up front. But you guys realize that for the mile one, you guys were full on 10 seconds in front of them, you know. So it's like, I know, I know for city finals, we won't start 10 seconds in front of them. I didn't do but, it you know, I think we could definitely do that. Good job. Let's start packing up and let's get out of here because I got work. This man. Oh, wait, you can't see. It's too dark.
Hey, what's up guys? Corey's here, doing a little extra mileage on the treadmill once again, just because, you know, I'm that much of a tryhard. And I just want to take a second to reflect on the race today. So in terms of how the race panned out, uh, I started off really fast. As usual, I started off towards the back with Adrian. James and Jason were up towards the front, and I was just like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna let them do their thing. I'm just gonna stay back here and do my own thing. By keeping a consistent pace and pacing off with some helpful kids, I eventually dropped Adrian around the mile mark, and then I passed Jason around the two mile mark, and then I broke him, and I kept going on. And then eventually James was in my sight, like 200 meters to go. It was about 30 meters ahead of me, and we was lying out pretty hard. I thought, oh shoot, I could get him. So I just kept hammering and hammering, but he held on and finished ahead of me. So that was that. And overall, most of us PR, some of us PR by a lot. So yeah, this is our last invitational of this cross country season. And believe it or not, it is the last cross country invitational of my entire high school career. Whoa! Interesting to think about, but yeah, looking forward to the rest of the season. See ya.